It's our Wonder Woman hour, and it wouldn't be complete without the OG of Wonder Women, Linda Carter. Yeah. Now, this is crazy. I read you got into entertainment at four years old. Is that true? I, I, yes, yes, I did. In Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, I sang Puff the Magic Dragon. Oh. Uh, thinking it was a little dragon, not about smoking <laughs> dope. Not the Willie Nelson version. Right. Oh. Yeah. I sang all my life. I, I uh, was uh, singing at 14 in bands and, and, uh, for school dances uh -huh. and then went on to uh, um, sing all across the uh, country, including Vegas and the Catskill Mountains. Nice. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I paid my dues. Legends. And, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, and, and then I moved to L.A. to uh, get off the road. I didn't think that would amount. Well, and in, in between, I won Miss USA. Right. Uh, Not bad. And yeah. Uh, it was crazy. You know, it was... Um, so anyway, I moved to L.A. and, and was uh, kind of a starving yeah. uh, young actor. And then uh, I uh, got... I got Wonder Woman, and when I was that, down to my last twenty-five dollars, roll like land in your lap. They did sort of a national search. I had done some testing for uh -huh. other movies and things, mm -hmm. and a fellow by the name of Larry Gordon and Doug Kramer were friends, and he showed Doug this test, and he was doing Wonder Woman at the time, and I didn't have to do the cold reading, but I did test for it, and wow. I got the role. What was it like putting the costume on for the first time? Looks comfortable. No, it wasn't uncomfortable. Really? I, no, it wasn't. I had this little itty bitty waist. I mean, I, I really just had this little waist, just the way it was, and it was thrilling. It was empowering. Do you do you still have a bunch of your costumes? I, I do. You do. I I do. I have one from the first season and one from the second season, oh, and they're the going first? to uh, uh, show it in the Smithsonian uh, uh, at a That's special. That's incredible. Event. Did you realize at the time that you were filming Wonder Woman, did you realize the barriers that you would break for other women? How much you would inspire? And empower people. And empower others. I, I did. I really did feel that uh, it was an opportunity for me to, to, to have an impact. And I always played Diana. I never played Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and that it was, the, the audience always knew the secret of Wonder Woman. Right. And so I played Diana all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and I'm friends with Gal Gadot and Patty, the director of, uh, of Wonder Woman. The new Wonder Woman. The new Wonder Woman. Yeah. I'm in touch with them and the director and Gal Gadot who did, I think they did a wonderful job and more power to them. And it just brings more people into sort of that idea that we can be anything and do anything. and and accomplish no matter what size and shape and ethnicity and hair color, whether we're salt and pepper or ginger or blonde or brown or right. whatever we are and whatever age we are at. And so like this year, there's so many beautiful, fabulous women that are now starting to represent us in the halls of, of Congress, which I think right. is so, we need our voices and it doesn't matter if it's Republican or Democrat. All right, Linda now has a reoccurring role on the CW's Supergirl. What's that like? Well, now this is something that I love. Okay. I got to play the President of the United States. Yeah! I mean, it, you know, it's sort of like, you know, you get to play the President without having all the responsibility. Right. Right. <laughs> right. 